Hello everyone, this is Gina from the Embroidery Zone. And if you just purchased this Snap Tab Heart Shape Monogram Key Fob Design from my Etsy shop, um, Embroidery ZZZ, if you just purchased this right here, I want to explain how you would handle the um, getting your monogram in there. All of these items right here are included in that download. You, the blank pattern, all the letters, 26 letters for the left hand side and all 26 letters for the right hand side. I'm going to flip over to my embroidery program and show you this is um, the way the design will sew. First there's the outline stitch. Actually this is the guide run stitch so this is to show you where um, you'll need to place your vinyl. Then it sews the heart. And next is the monogram. So right here is where you'll need to insert your letters. Let me go ahead and stitch those. So all of this is done on the top side of the vinyl. And right here is where you're going to stop your machine, turn the hoop over, and put your vinyl on the back side. Put it back in the machine and continue to sew so that you're now going to attach the front and back sides together with this outline stitch. I think I did that twice. Let me see. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so then after that, I did put the little uh, snap placement stitches. If you prefer not to use those at all, you can just skip that last step. So let me just show you how you will insert the letters into your own design. You're going to have the blank like this. And I did send the file on a 45 degree angle so that it would fit in multiple size hoops, but it's probably going to be easier for you if you rotate that back up straight. You put that back that way. And then when you unzip the files, you'll see all the different letters individually. Um, I just chose the letter R. I'm going to copy that and go back over to my blank and paste and then move it where I want it to be. And then I went over to my right side and I chose the letter M. And I'm just going to copy that, go back over to my blank, go edit, paste and position that where I want it to be. Now here's the thing. If you go over to your stitch list, you'll see, let me take this off of TrueView so it'll show better, you'll see that those letters are at the end. Again, those letters are going to have to go before you do, you, you take it off and turn it to the outside, to the flip side, I'm sorry. So you're going to want to put that right here, right after the heart sews. You're going to want to do your letters, then your tack down stitch, and then your little placement guides if you use them. So let's just go ahead and play that and see how that's going to stitch out. So again, there's the guide run, and the heart, then the monogram. Then you would stop the machine, take the hoop out, turn it upside down, put your vinyl on the back, and then continue to sew your last outline stitch and your placement guides if you use them. And if, depending on the size of your hoop, you may have needed to ro rotate this back so that it fits in a smaller size hoop. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.